Opening door locks in Hogwarts Legacy is in fact one of the most annoying and worst explained mechanics in the game. But you have to open at least a couple of those locks according to the plot. So here are three simple steps to make the unlocking easy and smooth. The most obvious but inevitable step – acquire the Yellow Morris spell first. It is a part of a main plot quest, the Caretaker's Lunar Lament. Mr. Moon instructs you on the spell, however, this would only give you the basic ability to unlock the first level locks. If you want to upgrade the skill, you will need to collect more demigises and go back to Mr. Moon for further instructions. Every single unlocking starts with the Yellow Morris spell. Next step, when facing the lock actually, the first thing is let the outer dial rotate. Keep it slow so that you can control the spark element and start with the outer dial only so that you don't get distracted. The green spark starts in the central element and flies into the dial, and you aim at bringing the spark to the gear, which is in the right corner of the lock interface. You proceed rotating, and when you see the spark flashing in the gear for a short moment, it's the sign you start slowly rotating the dial in the opposite direction until you catch the green spark glowing brightly inside the gear. You might need several consecutive back and forth moments to place the spark in the gear, but remember to keep it really smooth to catch the right moment when to stop. And after you place the green spark to the gear, do not release the controller button and hold it in the same position until you finish with the second gear, because if you let go, the spark will be gone and you will have to start the unlocking from the top. Next, we move to the red spark. This time you rotate the inner spinning dial. Once you catch the spark, focus on the central element where the sparks initially ignite. That's where you want to place the red spark. The mechanics is pretty much the same as with the green spark. You rotate, wait until the red light flashes, and then slowly rotate back and forth until the light is stable. And do not release the green spark from the gear during all this stage. If you don't want to waste your time with the locks anyway, there is a small trick how to open them really fast and hassle-free. Whenever you need to quickly open the lock, just switch to the story-only difficulty level of the game and voila, the locks open by just pressing a button. If you want to know how to open puzzle doors easily in Hogwarts Legacy, check out my video, the link is on your screen. Thank you for your attention, see you at Hogwarts. Nox.